Today I'm doing my very first Timu haul, so stay tuned. Hi there everybody. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I am going to do a Timu haul. So I have actually a combination of two orders that I'm going to be showing you today. The first order just got here. This is actually my second order that I ordered. My first order that I ordered got here a while ago. It's already been opened and used and all of that. I did a recorded haul, but I decided not to show it for whatever reason. This is what I got here today. This is my money that I spent. I'm not affiliated at all with them. The only thing that attaches me to them is my credit card. <laughs> I was watching, of course, like everybody else, all the Timu hauls that were going on, and I thought, I'm going to get on there and I'm going to see if there is anything that I could get that I could use that I would enjoy. Not spend a ton of money doing it. I will put all the prices up that I paid when I bought my items. I know that they are constantly evolving and changing and prices change. My cart right now, I went in there today and they had dropped prices on a couple of items. And so you grab that and you throw it in your cart and, you know, I leave stuff in my cart and it'll be gone and then it'll come back. And it's just a lot of fun just to see. It's a lot of fun to play the cart game. I think we should call it the cart game. If you're new to my channel, today I'm shooting out on my deck. It's beautiful outside. <laughs> it's so pretty. Pete and I went for a walk. Not very far. He has got to lose weight. Oh my goodness. The boy, the boy is getting huge. So I decided to show you what I got in my first haul. My first Timo order. I paid $55 in that order. So I got these, which I absolutely love. They were about $4 and 80 something cents. They're the big fluffy booty with the skid things on the bottom. I like the cable knit. I love the colors, the way they striped it. I love the fur around the top. And I just really love the pattern of the cable knit on these booties. This pair was, I don't remember if it was more expensive or less expensive. I think this might have been $5.88. Sorry, there is a curtain blowing on my deck in front of the camera. These look like they could be a baby blanket. They are so pink and yellow, purple. There's no blue. It's all yellow Easter colors, really. They're very comfortable. These are super duper thick. These are too, but like these are even thicker. <laughs> Trying to shoot outside. It's a, you know, it's Colorado. It's crapshoot. <laughs> the wind just kicked up. Next on the list, I stayed in the clothing line all through the shopping spree on Timu. Now, these are socks. They're very spongy. They're not rubbery. They're spongy, but they remind me of the feel of a, a wetsuit. You know how wetsuits are spongy? If you've ever worn a wetsuit, I don't know if you have. I have, but they're spongy. These feel very spongy. I wear them a lot. Uh, they're very comfortable. They have three colors. This is a taupe. Mustard. Black. And they're just a, I mean, they don't even have a heel to them. You just slip them on. They're cozy. They're really cozy. On the inside, they look like this. Really fleecy on the inside. I really like them. Remember how much I paid? I will put, like I said, the prices I'll put up on the items that I can. And then I bought these booties. When I got these, I was like, well, 
I've worn these, so there's hair on them. <laughs> They're really kind of no better quality than what you get at Dollar Tree. So, and these were $2 and something cents. So, yeah, they're checker, typical little booty sock. I bought a rounder where you put your corner of your paper and you make it round. I don't even know if this was a dollar. I took these out to spread them out for a photograph. That's why they're in a baggie. But this is the actual... I bought two. One is blue and one is green. I'm still really interested in making junk journal kits to sell on Etsy. So I'm trying to collect some really cute items to put in the kits because I've been, again, I've been watching Crafty Girl and she just launched two kits that she sold out of in like hours. <laughs> they were gone, but she's got four million thousand subscribers <laughs> to all of her. She's got fingers in pies everywhere. I really, I'm still kind of really interested in that. So that's what this is for. These would be going into junk journaling kits. So that's why I bought those. This is still the first haul that was $55. I was watching another lady do a Timu haul and she had one of these. It's a external DVD writable, which is really cool, DVD player. And it hooks up to your little tiny laptops that don't have DVD players in them anymore. Like the one I had to buy to replace the broken one that's sitting there waiting to be fixed <laughs> or to get the stuff off the hard drive. And I can't print anything because my printer is connected to my other laptop. My printer has the ability to Wi-Fi it. So it, I need the program though to put in the DVD player to feed it onto the laptop that I now have so that it can know that there's a printer out there to look for. And that's what I bought this for. And then I also bought this. I'm going to be traveling. My first place I'm going is Utah. I'm going to go hit the parks over there. And I've already made a reservation for Arches and I'm really excited. I'm taking this with me and my little laptop and I'm going to take my choice of DVDs that I have at my house and earphones and I'm going to at night watch movies with this. So this thing is super cool. I'm really happy I, I have that. I don't remember the cost. I really don't. It wasn't $11 or something maybe. So I didn't do like the like the $1, you know, under the $1 thing. I didn't do that. This one, I had a lot more fun with it. So this thing, I have to say, ladies and germs, Timu is rocking the customer service. And I'm going to tell you why. This package got delayed right out the gate. They knew it was going to be delayed. They hadn't even shipped it yet. And already they put a $5 credit on my account. And I'm like, because they knew it was going to be late. Then they knew it was still going to be late because it didn't hit on the March 30th like it was supposed to. And they gave me another $5 credit I got $10 that went towards the next order that I just bought. I think it went towards the next order. I thought I clicked on it, but maybe I still have $10 sitting there. I don't know. But I'm telling you, these people want your business. They, they really do. And again, I'm not affiliated. My credit card's affiliated, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's cut into this. I'm just going to cut it to it this way. And frankly, I 
hardly remember what's in here because it's been such a long time since I ordered this stuff. I took a glance at it on my phone before I came out here just to see. And right off the bat, I see something that I have no idea what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what happened when I unboxed the last one. I'm sitting there looking inside going, what, what is that? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Fakery, plant-wise. It is very plasticky looking. It does not look like natural plants at all. But that's okay because it's going to be out here. Yeah. I have had a natural garden I grew one year that I had cucumbers. I had squash. I had tomatoes. I had, what else did I have? We'll just say those three. It kept me trapped here all summer because I had to water it every day. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that again. Well, then I had flowers and it was the same entrapment. I had to water the flowers every day. So I'm just going to stick because I'm an old lady. <laughs> Peanut, would you come here? Stop terrorizing the neighborhood. I'm because I'm an old lady. <laughs> I'm putting fake stuff out here. So this is the beginning of that. <laughs> and what it is, it's a hanging arrangement of sorts. Um, <laughs> it's wound up. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay, there's the middle. There's the stem. Peanut! Honey, come here. Come here, Bubba. There it is. Okay, so you see you get this, and then you hang that, and this flows down. And I have these hooks that are right here. You can see this one back here on my deck. I'm going to hang little baskets from that, and these are going to hang from that. So that is why I bought these. But yeah, they're definitely on the cheap side, and I'm okay with that. I wasn't looking for a plant that is going to look real to me. So that's that one. Oh, okay, now I know what these are. This is what I saw and went, what is that? These are the microfiber rags. I have wind blowing, but I don't think you're going to be picking up on that wind, which is nice. Okay, so we have, I think they are six by six. Extraordinarily soft, like, oh man. I think I bought these to use on my face. That could be. Oh, these are wonderfully soft. And I believe they're microfiber. I don't have, I was going to bring my laptop out here and try to show you or tell you, you know, the description of these from the computer, but I don't have enough room out here. This deck is only four feet by six feet. So we have blue, a really pretty peach. Well, maybe peach. No, that's pink. It's pink. Pink, kind of a tealy greenish and a tealy greenish so i have there are five in the pack very nice oh i'm liking this okay this is a bag i ordered it has gold zippers now this zipper seems to be broken <laughs> if you see it's right in the middle I can't move it either way. Let me see if I can. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it only opens so far, and then it doesn't open the rest of the way. So I'm going to fix that. I <laughs> just opened it myself. Okay, now let's see if the zipper will close all the way. There it goes. Yeah, that's. So you have the pocket in front. <laughs> I'm trying to open it. There it goes. <laughs> There's the pocket in front. It has three sections and these zippers are all like this. So I'm going to have to just open them up like that. The zipper action works well once you've got that going on. 
And then there is a long handle that you can do it as a crossbody. So yeah, perfect for crossbody. I love the size of this, and I, and I will tell you why in a minute. I had more to show you from my other haul. I'll be right back. I remain invisible. It is such a miracle. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Okay, this is, hold on, I got to get rid of some personal information <laughs> in here. In the first haul, I also bought a bag and I bought a wallet. So this is the wallet. It's pink. So my driver's license goes right here. I put my insurance card right behind it. And then you open this up. I don't recall if it's RFID. I don't think it is. It might be, but I don't, I'm not really sure. And then you've got your little, I've got some cash back in one of the little pockets. So it opens up like that. I really enjoy this wallet. And then the bag that I bought, you can see in comparison to this one, it's a lot smaller. I wanted an over cross, I wanted a cross body bag that was small and I thought this might do the trick, but it's too small for me. So it's corduroy. It's really, really, really well made. The zipper action on this is really well done. You have enough room in here for your small wallet. Your phone can fit right here. It won't, if it's a tall phone, it won't fit in here. You can't zip it shut, but you can put it in here. So, and it's crossbody if you want it to be, or you can, you know, take it down to wear, but it's a really cute little purse. But I needed something larger. I ended up just taking my wallet out of it and taking the wallet where I need to go. So this is not serving me at all, but it will be nice for somebody else. So I'm going to donate that. It has the three compartments in it. Oh, and then it has a zipper here inside as well. So you've got a little zipper pouch in here and you've got your pocket, your pocket, your third pocket and your fourth pocket. So it's a lot of pockets and my wallet is going to go in the very first pocket that faces out towards me so I can just grab it out. I like this. I like it. It's so pretty. It's got little hearts and this is like a quilted. I was trying to come up with something that it was giving me like a suitcasey feel, but I'm, I can't, I can't, I'm not coming up with what I want to say to you. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna be here a while because I'm taking my time on this. And then I got a duplicate of the other one because I've got two. And I may order more because I think I need to fill it out more. I had a lot of fun with this one. What do we got here? Oh, what is, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, okay. So if you're new to my channel, on occasion I'll do a DIY and I just recently bought a Cricut, a little Cricut Joy machine. And I've been having some fun with that. I made a cup and measuring spoon holder. And I wanted to get some really cute cups and measuring spoons to hang on it. So that's what I did. This came as a set. Really pretty minty green. You can get them in all kinds of different colors. Very, very light, which is nice because they're going to be hanging from a command hook kind of situation. I like that this is metal, has a metal ring on there, which is wonderful for hanging. And yeah, just very straightforward measuring cups. They appear to be made out of silicone, the cup itself. I really like the mint color. I like the texture. Just adorable. They're adorable. And then this is the measuring spoons. And again, it has the ring on the top for the hanging part. Just your classic measuring spoon measurements. And again, it's the silicone. I love it. It only goes down to half a teaspoon though. Okay. It doesn't go down to a quarter. So that's okay though. No problem. We'll also link 
that video below where I do the DIY and make this if you are new to the channel and you haven't seen it. I ordered, ooh, okay. I didn't know the back was like that. That's rubber. Interesting. Huh. I had no clue. <laughs> I thought I I thought I was just ordering pot holders, but they're more than just a pot holder. Oh, and it's only one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I don't, maybe it's a silicone you put it your like that, maybe? <laughs> if you know, tell me. <laughs> what did I just order? <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a grab thingy for something. I don't know. I think I bought it because it had the black and white check, and I'm going that way in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm finally catching up. <laughs> anyway, it's very well made, and the stitching is very nice around it. I like the way that they do the loop-de-loop. -loop. The rubber or silicone is what it feels like. It's got that pattern on it, so it helps with the grip. It's got a really nice feel. Yeah, it, cotton it feels like it's made out of this part the fabric so yeah see you around buttercup don't leave you can't leave me please no 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 i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go make music and spread it out to the country so i gotta go bye <laughs> there you are I ordered what I thought were earrings that are for non-pierced ears. <laughs> but are they? As I look at these, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Let's open them up. I bought these. I'm going to tell you why. I had a class ring from high school and it had our school colors were green and gold, but I loved blue and I wasn't about to put a green stone in my ring. Well, what I did put in my ring is a stone that matches this color perfectly. And then it had the Spartan on it and, and it was such a beautifully designed ring. It wasn't the typical class ring like everybody was getting back in the 60s. I was graduating in 71 and they had upped their game at the ring making place because there's only one place that does it is Johnston's or something like that. And these rings were beautiful. It, it curved up on the side and that's where my one initial was. And then it curved up over here on the side. My other initial was there. It was a beautiful ring. Dang if I didn't lose it. <laughs> three years later. I have regretted that loss ever since. My mother paid $35 for that ring. I wanted to replace it about, I'm going to say about 10 years ago, I wanted to replace that ring. And they had a design that was super duper close, but not exactly. It was 800 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I paid 35 and they now wanted to charge me 800 to replace it. But look at these. I love them. They remind me of my class ring because of the cut and the color of the stone. It's the exact same. And kind of the way the swirl is around it. But looking at this earring is a pierced earring. It is not, I don't even know how you'd put it in your ear. See that? That's for a pierced ear. <laughs> I can't bend it or move it. It's got a hole right there. Huh. 
See, this is where my dyslexia is really bad. I, I, I'm afraid I'm going to break this earring if I try to remove this back here. I really am afraid I'm going to break it. It won't move. It will not budge. I, there's no way I could wear this. Let me try the other one. It doesn't move. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, well, let's move on to the next one. Again, they look exactly the same. I'm going to return these because they're not what I wanted. It's exactly the same. I put in for non-pierced ears. I have pierced ears, but they've closed up. So yeah, I will be getting my money back on that. And now we're going to move on to other things, which is a ring. Let's see this ring. Looks like it's going to be way too big. I tried to pick sizes that I thought were close to mine. <laughs> I don't know what size ring I wear anymore. My, my wedding ring was five and a quarter. <laughs> I couldn't get a five and a quarter on now if I tried. Yeah, it fits this hand perfectly. Can you see it really well? So it would be too big for this finger. Yes, this, this finger is really tiny. Let's see if it would fit the middle. No. So it fits this one. Perfect. Okay. Yay. All right. This is a necklace. I love delicate jewelry. So that's the length right there, which is perfect length. Perfect. I love it. I'm tired of not wearing jewelry. And if it makes me itch, well then, so what? <laughs> this one was out of stock and then it came back in. That's what I'm talking about with Timu. They they keep you notified if you want to be notified when something's coming back on because this is so beautiful. This is so pretty. And these didn't cost hardly anything. I don't even know if these cost a buck. Maybe more. I, I, I don't know. But right off the bat, the chain is totally caught inside the heart. <laughs> there we go. This, this is the way it rolls in my life. I, I, does it roll like this for anybody else? Or does everything just go smooth as glass for you all day long, every day of your life? If if things went smooth as glass for me every day of my life, I, I don't know what I'd do. It's purple. I can't lean real forward because I, my arm is, I've got a rotator cuff that I tore. <laughs> on my left so I don't know if you're seeing it I have no idea I hope it's coming in but it's got two butterflies on it a purple heart in the middle it has little tiny purple stones that are all the way around the the right side of the heart and then it has wording love is written in the middle part of the heart it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. I like silver jewelry. They put the connector. They leave you some chain. Hmm, hope that went. It did. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay, this one's shorter than the other one. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice stack right there. Didn't plan it. Just happened. And then this one can you tell I like hearts? <laughs> I'm all about hearts and love. Like I said, I will put these up on the prices up there for you. They do vary. It really, it's what I paid when I bought them. When you buy whatever you're going to buy, you're going to pay whatever you're going to pay for whatever you buy. <laughs> I couldn't say that again if I tried. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow. We. Oh, man. How do I give you the sparkle? How do I give you the sparkle? Can you see the sparkle? <laughs> Let me see. I've got to get this to where you can see that sparkle. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> 
Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Here, let's look at these cl up close. Let's see if I can give you... Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm plugged in, so I'm knocking things over right and left. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh my. It's a rose gold. And it's just stunning. <laughs> Wow, I won't put this one on. I won't I won't bore you with that, but it looks like it's probably going to hang about the same as this one. That is stunning. Okay. Now, this thing, I have no idea what this is. If you are enjoying this Timu haul, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. I didn't really describe this ring to you at all. So this ring is gold and it has blue sapphire, the, the same color blue as the earrings. And then it's a back and forth zigger zagger. <laughs> it zigzags. Crisscross applesauce. I like it. It's very comfortable too. Okay, I have no idea what this is. We're going to find out together. I don't know where to cut it because I don't know what's in here. There we go. Oh, it's the foundation brush. Look at that packaging. It comes with a little netting around it to protect the bristles. Very nice. Oh, it's very soft. Oh. <laughs> very soft. That's really nice. It's a blender brush. I like the bigness of it. It just, yeah. It's beautiful. I love how, I love the color pink that it is. It's kind of a mauvey pink. It's not a bright pink. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Very well done. I believe this was under a dollar. I, I don't remember. I saved the best toy for last. <laughs> okay. $10. And some sense is what I paid for this. It's supposed to mimic, you know, the smartwatch deal going on out there. I'm going to take it out of the cellophane. This is the box. How to connect. Some pictures things here. Quick use. This is going to be fun. I'm going to be, I'm going to be working on this as soon as I am off of this video. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. It comes separate. We have the watch itself is a gold color, a, a uh, pearl color. It's beautiful. It has a little dial on the side, and then it's protecting this on the back. And then the rest of the things in here are bands. Oh, no. And we have a USB. Oh, we have more. Okay. Wow. Okay. So then I have a white or a pink band to choose from. Or I could put a white and a pink on together if I want. They're made out of silicone. They're very nice. They feel really lovely. I used to hate to wear watches when I was younger because they were the kind that the Timex watch and you pulled the thing and it stretched. It would pull the hair on my arms all the time. So I had to wear leather bands. Well, I'm now vegan and I don't want to wear leather. So these are silicone and they feel wonderful. And I, again, I love that color. It's that same soft mauvey pink. And then you get the little charger. That's what it is. So that's what that's for. Okay, I'm brand new to this technology, guys. So I guess you just set it in here and you plug it in and charge it. So I'll get on that right away. That is my very first Timu haul. I hope that you really enjoyed this haul. I really had fun doing it. I've got another bunch of Timu stuff coming. And I have more stuff in the cart <laughs> already. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, go ahead. And if you like the content that you're seeing here, hit the subscription button and come back and watch some more videos. I really appreciate it. I love you. God loves you.
and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. I thought I would uh, go over a couple of items since I've had these for a few days now. Let's start with the little thing that is supposed to make a corner. All right, I can't seem to make it work. If I put my card in, I've tried to put it in in different, it won't go past, <laughs> it doesn't cut. And I've looked at this, it's just not allowing for the paper to slide in to that slot right there. It's crazy. So, yeah, it, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea, but this will not fit in here. You can see it will not go past. See how it doesn't go any farther in? I've tried really hard to make it slide in there. It won't do it. But if I put it over here <laughs> and put it in, it's going to give me a corner all right. You can see it slide through here, right? But it's a corner that's going the other way. <laughs> but yeah, for the life of me, I cannot get this to work. So in my opinion, complete and total fail. And I don't remember what the cost was on that. And then the earrings, if you watched the video from the beginning, these were the first things I did, I think. Well, I took them out of the package today. <laughs> and because I don't wear jewelry all the time and I'm not familiar with how all the different things work, I was really afraid to bend this because I didn't realize it had a hinge. So what you do is, which you guys already know this, here, I just put lotion on my hand so I don't look that wrinkled, but I still look really wrinkled. You pull back on it like that. I'm trying to give you light, but yet <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Can you see that? <laughs> see? So anyway, but I still can't use them. My holes have closed up. I tried to put one through the hole, but yeah, let me shine that up. It's, I've got lotion on me. But these are really pretty. They're just gorgeous. And then this pair was the exact same issue. This is actually my birthstone right there. So those are going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I, I'll, I'll figure that out. So for right now. And then I want to show you my watch. When I bought the watch, it was $10 and some cents. Since then, it's gone up. Uh, when I put the prices on the video, it had already jumped up $2. And I noticed when I was putting the prices on the video and then grabbing the description off of the website, every price there was different. <laughs> Once Some of them were more, some of them were less. So it's a real crazy thing. Okay, so all of you young'uns out there, I'm going to put a video here at the end that's funny because you should see me trying to put this watch band on. I am so old school that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've paired it with my, I'm still learning how to use it obviously there we go so it's paired with my phone i got through all of that i just grabbed a picture this is one that i did for a youtube thumbnail and it showed up here on this so then if i press the button i get my menu and so here, messages is right there. I've got messages in there. I don't want to show that. And then steps are right here. I cannot get this to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've married it to the phone. I turned on the app. It will not monitor anything I do. I, I don't know what's wrong. I've got the health app on, on my phone, everything. And they're married. I don't know why it won't do that, anything. And so then I can swipe back. And if I rotate this dial, then I can go to the next set of 
icons. And so if I want to take a picture, this is a really cool feature. If I touch that, it's going to take a picture from my phone. I think I have to double tap it. It stopped recording. I double tapped it and it stopped recording. I had to hit the record button again. That is super cool because if I'm trying to do YouTube thumbnails, which I'm, if you guys haven't noticed, my thumbnails are all over the place right now because I'm trying to land on one that's going to bring you in to watch my videos. It isn't about subscribers. It, it's about views. It's about longevity on the video. And it's about the likes. That's what it's about. Subscribers are just bookmarking. They're, they're subscribing, but they're not coming back. That's normal YouTube behavior. So your subscriber count really... It isn't, it doesn't matter. What matters is the views and the uh, watch, you know, the views and the time that they watch, your audience watches and all that. So I really want to give you guys good quality videos. I'm trying really hard to, you know, improve all that. And one of the things is titles and thumbnails. I've got to learn how to do that better. I'm horrible at it. Okay, so what else can we do in here? I can swipe up. And there's my messages. I'll have to blur that out. Let's get out of there. Okay. Hit this, and it takes me to the menu. And then, okay, let's put the watch on. I'll show you. I'm very clumsy at this, so bear with me. <laughs> but I'm going to keep the phone running so you can see just what a pain in the arse putting this thing on is. I'm not supposed to end a sentence with a preposition. What do I care? <laughs> okay, um, 70 almost, doggone it. So you get that on there, right? And then you go, where the hell is, the, pardon my French, where the heck is the buckle that is right here that you slide it under? E no contraire. No, you have to do this. So in order to do this, you, the watch has to be on loosely because you have to be able to slide the silicone band under. And I think this is just really silly, <laughs> but it's the way it's done. Okay, so now it's on very loose. So now it's on very loose. We're going to turn that back on and we're going to hit that and we're going to 0550. No, it's not 0500. What's your problem there, clock? We got to figure that out. What do we want to do? We want to take a heartbeat. So we're going to go here. It's a BPM. I have no idea what that means. I can't see it. Is it heart rate? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And now we're going to do my... Okay, so if I go walking and I start exercising, then the timer starts... But that's not a step timer. That is just a walking deal, which I can use when Peanut and I go for a walk, because I'm curious to see how far we go. We have a trail that we take. Anyway, so there we are. How do I get out of this? Swipe, swipe, swipe. <laughs> All right, and the exercise, yes. Okay, too little movement. <laughs> really? I thought I was cranking it. And then we're, there we go. Click. I'm still, like I said, I'm learning. Okay, so into, that's the weather. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. SPO2. Oh, it's my oxygen level. 98%. I'm good. I'm looking for blood pressure. Is that it? There it is. The fact that it can do this blows my mind because where the heck is this Figmo manometer that's around my arm making it tight to make that blood vessel have to, you know, we're hearing it, we're listening to it. This is, I don't know how they're getting these answers here. This one, I'd like to know the science behind it because that's crazy, but it's a good blood pressure. There you are. Those are the features, music. I have no idea how you work that, where the sound is, or any of that. There's no speaker. Well, there says there's a speaker back here somewhere, but I hit play and nothing happens because I don't know.
I don't know how to use this. <laughs> so that's the music app. Of course, the telephone is self-explanatory. If I want to see how poorly I'm sleeping, this would be the app to tell me. Not in the mood for them to know that. This is a search, but I don't know what how to... <clears throat> what am I looking for? I don't know. It, I'm going to search. <laughs> I don't know what we're searching for because I can't type in anything. And so we're going to stop the search because I don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> and tap, tap, tap. We're going to tap, tap, tap our way through the phone. Oh, yeah, baby. And then, of course, the telephone is self-explanatory. Clock. This is a reset button. Files. Oh, date. Oh, 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 date. Calendar. Gotcha. Okay. Contacts. I don't have any in there. This is settings. How do I want it to look? No records. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have no idea. Nope. I don't have any records. They're up in the closet. They're all vinyl. And yeah. And I have a record player too. But no, I don't have any records on here. This is the weather calculator settings. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's how long do you want the backlight to stay on? I've got it at 30. Yep, we're in English. And that's your light bright on the thing and the weather. I won't put, put that up because you'll know where I live. Ha! <laughs> So that's my watch. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm learning all about it. I've got drink water on here. That's the only thing I've added to it. So when I ask it to, you know, it reminds me with a ding, 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 ding. And there you, there you are. So that's my review. That's the video for this time. I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, I'm going to show you where I put all my stuff that I got. Uh, and then I'll be done. And I love you and God loves you. And peace out. <laughs> We will start in the living room. So the little plastic plants that I got, until the wind dies down out there and all of that, and I, I don't have baskets yet, I put them up here. So I like, I like the way they look. What do you think? Put a comment in the comment section. And my cups and spoons are back here now. And this is why I ordered that pot holder because I'm trying, you know, I've got the black and white check thing going on here. And I will link this video below that I made those two items, the cup holders and this thing. I just did a spring clean with me video and I'll link that below where I organized this closet. And that's where I put my new cloths that I just got for my face. And the booties ride right there. Call me really stupid, but where's that watch band supposed to go? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I figured it out. But this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but for $10... <laughs>